guys, what is up? It is Ivy Concrete Catwalk. Those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I love all things thrift, vintage, new, nearly new, estate sailing, sailing, you name it. I love it. My catwalk is in lock. Welcome back to a new video this Sunday. Those of you who are newly subscribed, thank you so much for coming along together on this journey. Okay, so you guys, these shoes are everything. I have watched these shoes for many years, almost eight years to be exact. And I did not know if I wanted to get these shoes. They are the Stella McCartney Elise Platform. And for myself, I was so far on the fence with these shoes because in the very beginnings when they were introduced, I didn't know if I saw myself with a pair. I debated on whether they were practical. These are a non-leather shoe. At that point, the offerings were at eight to over a thousand dollars for the shoes, depending upon if you wanted them with stars or you didn't want stars or you wanted, you know, whatever color they were, silver, you get it, okay? Love the shoes from afar. Every now and again, I would peek at the shoes just to see if it was something that I still would consider. I go on to the real real just to see what I can see. I did a search for the Stella McCartney Elise platform. These shoes popped up as fair condition and I am going to show you those shoes. This is the large dust bag that the shoes came in. And what I'm going to do is simultaneously, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side post-up over here so you can see snippets of me walking around in the shoes so you get an idea of what they look like on the foot. Here we go. So this is what I ended up getting. The Stella McCartney Black Platform Elise. And I grabbed these off of the real real. They were on sale marked all the way down to, and you will fall out when you hear me say this, but these were marked all the way down to $69. I looked at the condition and as you can see, there's a little wear up here on the toe. There is discoloration around the wood part of the shoe and also on the base of the shoe because it looked like it looked like somebody walked through paint in these but i'm kind of obsessed and i kind of like it but what i like about these and i am just gonna be way up front because i have tried these on i just wanted to show you guys what these look like you know by way of how they came let's get real about these these are quite comfortable when you put them on and you work yourself into them. And I'm gonna pull out the other shoes so you can see these together. I picked these up in a size eight because I was reading about these and how these fit and the comfort level with these. Some people were saying, oh, you should size up. Oh, you should go a whole size down. Oh, you should maybe go up a size because of this, this, and this. I opted to stay at a size eight because I fluctuate between, depending upon the cut of the shoe, six if it's a youth shoe, to seven, seven and a half, eight, all the way up to an eight and a half, depending upon cut and material. So because these are not leather, I opted to stay at my shoe size, which was seven and a half, but up to a size eight just in case my god you guys i am so glad that i decided to get these in an eight because the initial thing that i realized when i tried these on is these are cut and narrow i'm gonna be very frank with you if you have a medium foot or if you have a foot that is wide Medium foot people, you'll be fine because you've got to walk these in in order for these to mold to your foot. I am medium width. If you have a wide foot, these are not going to work for you. These are very straightforward. You put your foot in the shoe and you immediately feel how, and I'm just going to use the word, you immediately feel how tight they are. And as you begin to wear them, they do break in. Now, the crazy part is these were pre-owned, pre-loved, but my feet, when I put my foot into these shoes, my feet were asking questions. They're like, what is going on here? What is this like? So it took me a day to acclimate to these shoes. I wore them all day. And at the end of the day, my feet were fine. They molded to 
the form of the shoe. The toe box is fine. It's just the part in here, this part, the higher up part, like right before you get to the shoelaces, that's where the adjusting had to take place. And I was worried because I was like, what are these gonna feel like? Are these gonna work? Are these not gonna work? And they actually work. So I'll say if you are considering this Stella McCartney platform shoe, you may want to go in store and try these on to get a grasp of what your true size is. Me, I took a gamble on these. I was like, well, let me just go with a size eight because at least it gives me some space to, to deal with and acquiesce. And I do have space in these, not crazy space, but just the right amount of space where my toes are fine. But at the end of it all, these are a narrow shoe. These are 38, and I am so glad that I picked these up in the 38, albeit a great price point, but it would have been a true waste of money if these did not fit. And I'm gonna put these down. I am glad that I waited to purchase these for an eight to $900 to $1,000 shoe over the course of time to depreciate down to $69. And real time today, if you go onto the website, whether it be Neiman Marcus or Stella McCartney site or what have you, these shoes still retail for over almost eight to a thousand dollars, depending upon what you get on the shoe. It to me is worth waiting to invest in these until you are absolutely sure. If you want them brand new out the gate, good, go, do it. Myself, I chose to do a little bit of research and figure out was I going to be working with something that I could work with or not. Considering these are not an all leather shoe, a thousand dollar price point is not something that I would do in a shoe like this. Some other things, some other offerings I would consider coming from that particular design house, I definitely would. But for these particular shoes, no, I would not. But on the pre-love market, if you're looking for these, you can save yourself a couple several hundred dollars if you take your time and look. Now, I've seen these on some sites in pristine condition, and they're still going upwards of four, five, six hundred dollars, depending upon the use life that the person put into the shoe. But if you're willing to make a little bit of concessions, you can find these at price points that are really reasonable. So if you're looking for the Stella McCartney Elises and you've been on the fence waffling with these, you may want to take a look at the pre-love market to see what you can come up with. There are a plethora of offerings at price points that do make sense. I am so happy with these. I think that these are awesome shoes and I am so glad that I have added these now to my shoe collection. There you have it. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. Do you own a pair of the Stella McCartney Alicia's and what has been your history with them? Did you decide that they weren't the ones for you and were not working for you? Did you do something else with them? Did you return them? Did you sell them? Let me know in the comments below. I am absolutely obsessed with these and I see a whole lot of outfit choices that I can use and work with these and they would play right into the look that I was going for. If you do not want to miss out on anything that I post, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday. You do not want to miss out. Tap that and you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be in the description box below. You can also head on over to Poshmark, check out my closet. I am Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. If you see anything in my closet you are interested in, feel free to leave me a message there or you can head on over to Instagram. I am the Catwalks Concrete on IG. Feel free to DM me there as well. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Zero.
real good.